And that's normalizing everything when you measure this. You measure your opponent, TV channel, time, team performance. When you do all that, we draw the best in the ACC. Now I want to talk a little bit about television contracts across the country. When, when the media contracts come in, ABC, Fox, et cetera, and negotiate with our conference, they're looking for a couple of factors, what goes into it. They look for TV viewership numbers, which I just pointed out. They look for TV households in your marketplace, which we happen to live in a, a great marketplace in the state of Florida. And they measure your football basketball performance. When you look at that as a TV, uh, ESPN or anyone coming in once again, the kind of the rule of thumb is 80-20. 80% 80 of that media is going to be geared towards football, 20% towards basketball. That's just kind of when they go in with their variables and negotiate these deals, that's the numbers they're playing with. Us in the ACC, as you see on this slide, we're locked in to the 2036 season. Each autonomous five conference gets to go to the open market before uh, our deal is even up, some of them a couple of times. The Big Ten w went in in 2023 with their new deal, and, the, and it goes to the 2030 season. So they'll be signing a new contract and go to market once again ahead of us in 2029. The SEC with the two with Texas and Oklahoma coming in received a new deal that kicks in next year. And that lasts to the 2034 season. So they'll be signing a new contract, going to market once again before our deal comes up for even a more profitable deal in 2033. The Big 12 just signed a new agreement that start kicks in in 2025 to 2031. So they'll be signing a new agreement sometimes in 2030. And if you read all the the articles right now and the rumors going on, there's, they're looking at possibly going into the PAC-12, PAC-10 now, and looking at members of what's going to go on with that conference. But the PAC-12 must sign a new TV deal shortly. We're hearing everything media chatter indicates it's going to be a shorter contract and should be done in the next two weeks. And if not, then you read about the Big 12 possibly going in and getting some teams, which would really leave the PAC-12 uh, vulnerable for some other teams to be sitting in the open market, um, ready to be taken away. So I'll say this just because I wanted to point out that we contribute around 15%. If you take the ACC agreement and you look at what ESPN, what ABC, what all the media outlets measure, we represent 15% of the ACC's media agreement, Florida State. But we only receive 7% of the distribution. Us and Clemson account for 24% of the overall media agreement with the ACC. And if you look at the numbers there, the Big Ten is projected to distribute about 80 million on average to their members and the SEC about 72 million on average to their members. Right now, when you throw everything in, we receive about 42 million. So that would put us literally 30 million behind our competitors and peers across the country. And that's 30 million every year as these contracts till 2036. And remember, some of them go to market again, so that number's even going to get larger. So I'll say all this just because we're in deep discussions, and with Chairman Collins and President McCullough and Carolyn, we're, we're in the weeds on everything that will impact the future of FSU revenues. Everything from the CAGR on things like sponsorships and ticketing to the potential of, I just pointed out, our media rights impact, um, and even looking into windows. Uh, these agreements come up. What windows would be opening up if, if some of these realignment dominoes fall? If the Big 12 was to get some teams from the PAC, that's going to open up some windows. If the Big Ten goes and gets some other teams from the pack that are left out, that's going to even open up other media windows where we can't go and have that brand showing anymore. Any questions on the media? Any questions? Anybody want, anybody want to take their first shot at that? <laughs> other than saying we have to do something? And we're working every day. 
uh, the president and I are talking daily uh, about our future. And, and we worked with the chairman. I mean, we have our revenues probably known and probably different options better than any other athletic department in the country. We go out to 2042 on projected revenues. Uh, hired a consultant to come in and really work with us on it and, and evaluating in every option that we have going forward. But we have to do something but, because we are a brand and we're a very important brand and we drive the media value in this conference. And we're con consistently talking to the conference. I know the president and I sit in meetings <coughs> where we're making sure that they understand of our value to this conference. But at the end of the day, if something's not done, we cannot be 30 million behind every year compared to our peers. I think um, one of the slides that you showed us last time, if you took the conference revenue away and put us in the SEC, our athletic department revenue ranks third. Third. Third in if, the SEC and third in the Big Ten. And third in the Big Ten. That's how well we do aside from the conference payouts. But if you take that and then every year you're losing 30 million or you're 30 million behind to your competitors, you got to do, now you've got to be better than everybody in the country by a long shot to mm -hmm. overcome that. And yes. that's just, I mean, it's almost impossible. If it's not impossible. Um, so we're working with the conference right now. We're talking to them about how we rev create a revenue distribution model that takes in factors of who you are, how you produce, how you play, what your brand is, um, working with other athletic directors on that. I know the president and I sit in some meetings on it. So uh, we're working with the conference. Don't know if we're going to get there. Um, don't know what the revenue redistribution model will make that up. I know it won't make that up, but what can it make up? So there's, they're working on options, but at the end of the day, for Florida State to compete nationally, something has to change moving forward. Okay. Michael, is, is the, I mean, the kind of buyout even feasible? Of the conference? Right. Counselor? Sir. I'm going to. That is an excellent question. <laughs> the bylaws have language in there uh, governing exit from the conference um, and what the cost is of exiting the conference. And it is uh, written in there that it is three times the operational budget of the annual operating budget of the ACC is what the bylaws of the ACC say. Today that's about 120 million. Yeah. Today, if using today's numbers, it'd be roughly 120 million. Is that up front or over a period of time? It actually prescribes how it should be paid out, um, which is withholding of distributions and then due um, at, at the exit time. The balance is due is what the bylaws say. Just hypothetically, if we made another $30 million every year, in four years we'd be breaking even if we had to pay that out then, roughly? Hypothetically. Hypothetically. 